Joseph and Ilana, I can't give you any marriage advice. I've been married for 30 years and still learning. But as I watch you today, committed to each other and starting your life together as one unit, I'm filled with pride and confidence that you will embark on a wonderful journey filled with love and happiness that can only come from being a husband and a wife. May the two of you always treat each other with love, compassion, and kindness. And may your home be filled with children, Jewish values, and happiness. May you have a home your children will love to come back to, where your love for each other and your children is unconditional. Because at the end of the day, it is all about the family. Amen. Ilana and I are hardly two years apart in age. At each milestone in our lives, our choices have often left us on opposite sides of the world for long periods of time. In fact, we haven't lived in the same city since we were in high school. But the truth is, we are never truly distant. Even when we are far apart, even during the periods when we don't speak regularly, we go through everything together. And that's because our parents taught us to be close. Ilana, we both know that if she could, Ima would force us to wear matching shirts printed with her mantra, blood is thicker than water, and maybe she'd put a hamsa on the back. But I am thankful for that every day because it brought me a sister like you. One I can trust, one I can count on, one who will be by my side. What Yosef taught me firstly is that humor, that it's always important to smile every single day of your life and uh, possibly that the greatest enjoyment in life is making other people smile. Uh, you're a pretty funny guy, you're probably the funniest in the family. No offense to any, you guys are all funny, but this guy, this guy's funny. Now that I met his friends today, they're all pretty darn funny, all you guys. <laughs> My beloved son Yosef, this week's Torah reading uh, concerns the blessing that biblical Yosef's father gives to uh, Jacob, our father, gives to all of his children. And when he addresses Yosef, he addresses Yosef as Porat Yosef, handsome, charming. You have used your charm well. Ilana and I are eight years apart in age, and with a brother like Mikey, competing for her attention was very challenging. Years ago, I left for Israel looking for a new experience, but when I got there, I realized I just wanted to have my big sister all to myself for the first time. Those few months gave us the opportunity to overcome our age difference, form a close friendship, and avoid Mikey. <laughs> Ilana, over the few years since you moved back to Tampa, you have become my best friend all over again. I know I can come to you about anything, and somehow you always say exactly what I need to hear. You're my role model and have taught me so much, but most importantly, you taught me what it means to be a big sister to my little sister. Not that it's a competition, but Ilan and I are 13 years apart in age. She's been the best role model a little sister can ask for. I can't stress enough how much you have impacted my life and helped me become the person I am today. I can't thank you enough for always being there for me when I need you the most and always steering me in the right direction.
But one of the qualities I admire most in you is that when you set a goal for yourself, you don't give up no matter what. No matter how hard it is or how much you have to struggle, Mazi and I are thrilled that our daughter is with someone who will face the challenges and the joy of life with courage. I told Ilana this morning, I will have to give you away today. And she replied, you are not giving me away. You are gaining a son. And Joseph, it will be our honor to, be, to have you as our son. Jewish tradition tells us that each person has a soulmate. A soulmate means another half of their soul. Joseph and Alana are two halves of the same soul. And for almost three decades, they have spent their life searching for the other half. Tonight, you and I have the great fortune of witnessing these two halves joining together and uniting as one whole. I just want to say something personally on behalf of Dina and myself. We've had the great fortune of getting to know both of you. And when you meet a special person, you always wonder what the other half of that person will be like. And when we had the great fortune of seeing you find each other, we just knew it was perfect. It's like a fairy tale with a happy ending. And this is just the next chapter in that story. day he met Alana, I have never met anyone so consistently, acutely, intimately, excitedly interested in any single person for such a long period of time, ever. I mean it. And that's huge because you know as well as I do. I mean, trying, you know, a half hour of anything is like, but since day one, you call them today, you catch them in the car together, and they sound like they met three weeks ago. And that's tremendous. Bless you both. Life full of joy, everything you need, spiritually and physically. May you lack nothing and only find riches in your relationship and your lives. We love you, Mazel Tov.